is up guys welcome back to the channel today we got this 2021 ram 1500 classic that we're gonna go ahead and raise up front two inch leveling kit so this is actually my sobrino's truck my brother just bought this truck for him just to be like a daily driver versus the obs sierra that you guys seen in the channel so brand new truck right off the dealership lot with zero miles clean truck so i want to get a single cab so i can go ahead and do a 2021 2500 conversion on these they look badass now let me know if you guys want to see that in the channel i'll get myself a single cab probably not brand new from the dealership i'll probably get one from the auction that's crashed and we'll fix up but that's something i want to do on the channel eventually so my sobrino wants to go with the leveling kit he doesn't want to do anything drop on this truck just yet if you slam this right now you know obviously you're gonna have to do some cutting on the frame he just wants to save up some more money he wants to put the two inch leveling kit on this and put some off-road tires on it so he picked up this Motofab kit, which is a steel spacer. I remember the first one I bought for my truck a while back. It was actually a plastic spacer. So I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit better just because the plastic will tend to compress over time. But this one won't. It's all steel, which is nice. Powder coated black. Let's go ahead and get the tools out, raise the truck up, take the tires off, and I'll show you what's next. I was almost forgetting guys to measure this out before we raised it. We are about 37 and a half. 37 and a half on the passenger side and 37 on the driver's side. Disconnect the upper control arm, remove some brake components, hang them to the side. We'll go ahead and remove the shock. We'll just unscrew the nut from the top, unbolt the two screws from the bottom. The shock will drop straight down. Remove the sway bar link, also the pitman arm. I had to go to the local parts store to rent out this tool. This goes in the center. Once you remove that shock, it goes in through here and grabs a hold of the ring and then you compress it downwards. So I can go ahead and put that spacer right on top of it and reverse the process. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, now that we got it off, I went and grabbed a spacer. I grab this two inch ratchet strap. I'm gonna hook onto the spring right here and then grab a point on the other side, probably on the other control arm and ratchet that way. Let's go ahead and remove the compression spring tool out the way and the ratchet strap. All right guys, now that I got the brake caliper on, upper control on and tight, pitman arm reconnected. I can't get my shock fully bolted up. As you can see, 
that shock is fully extended but i don't have much much room if i jack up the lower control arm it'll start bringing up the whole truck what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait till i get the other side done i'm also gonna wait to connect the sway bar link till i get the other side done so i can go ahead and put the tire on that way the tire since the tire sticks out further it gives me enough leverage for that control arm to come up compress just a little bit more I can go ahead and put this uh, shock on so I'm gonna wait until I finish on the other side so we can go ahead and get that done also guys I recently bought some parts for my razor that also is gonna come up continue building that razor up and uh, it's gonna be fun we'll take it out and do some shenanigans if you haven't already guys make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification button as well so stay tuned guys don't miss out The first leveling kit that I did on a two wheel drive 1500, I didn't struggle so much. I did struggle a bit. I didn't have to go to that extent of getting that tool. Just a couple guys, we muscled that. But if you're doing it by yourself, really recommend getting that tool. And if you have a ratchet strap, let's go ahead and measure it. So the passenger side was 37 and a half. Now it's at 39 and a half. As you can see, this driver's side was 37. Now it's at 39 exactly. I'll take it out, ride it for a little bit. You know, let us settle. Turned out pretty good. If you like the video, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and just drop a comment. See what you think about the build, about the idea of getting a single cab for myself and building it, converting the front end to a 2500. Thanks for watching. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.